guys, so I was originally planning on making this video all just a one part video with me showing how to assemble this AD optic green dot micro dot sight for Glock 17 Gen 4. The price of ammo right now being a dollar a bullet, it's not very cost effective at the moment for me to go spend $50 on a box of 50. 9mm bullets, so I figured I would do it in two parts and show you how I took out the rear sight and installed this mounting plate to mount this ADE optic green micro dot sight. So let's go ahead and get into it. So there's a whole lot of different ways that you can go about mounting these, as you can see. This is the mounting plate. This is designed for Gen 1 through 4. The Gen 5 series Glocks, they have a built-in rail for attaching optics, and then in that case you would use something like this, where you would just tighten it on like you're attaching an optic to any basic weaver or Picatinny rail. Now unfortunately, when I attached this mounting plate to my handgun. I was at my work and I didn't have my tripod for my phone or my camera or anything so I figured I would just explain the process I used to get this on there. And there's also Loctite on there so I don't really want to remove it. So this basically goes in place of the rear sight which uses a dovetail locking system. So to remove this sight, you either need a punch or a tool. Now, some of these tools cost about $60 or so, and it's basically just puts the gun in a vise and then it holds it steady, and you just basically turn a clamp, which in turn pushes the sight out of its dovetail, because that gets really tight in there. Or, another option that I found on Amazon was they make nylon punches. So I saw that on Amazon and I copied down the dimensions that they had for it. And I went to my machine shop and I turned this down on the lathe and made a nylon punch just for that. And so what I did was I got to my work and I put this in the vice grips that we have in our shop. And for protection, I taped these two pieces of felt, one on each side of the vice grip, and then I got this tightened up in the vice grip. Not too hard, not too soft, just enough to keep it nice and steady so you can get a hammer and punch this rear sight out of the back of the Glock just a couple wax and just slide right out and once you've done that there's a slot in there the metal piece that slides into the slot which is threaded and then those threads allow you to put this mounting plate piece down in and it has these four locking pins so I put Loctite on these two screws I screwed it down attaching it to the new metal dovetail with threads so that's nice and steady from the Loctite and then to attach the optic itself you just take this little rubber pad which reduces chances of it moving gives it more grip and then you can see the bottom of the optic there it has four corresponding holes for those pins so you just drop that down into place and you can see these screws came with a little bit of lo blue loctite from the factory on them so then before I actually take this shooting I will apply some fresh loctite to it just to keep it from coming loose and then you just screw it down which is pretty self-explanatory
and then you're good to go. I haven't taken this thing shooting yet, although I did use a laser bore sighter to get it zeroed in. Then it comes with two extra screws. It comes with the Allen wrench, obviously. And then it comes with the cover, too. Alright, so there it is. And then you just tap the front to adjust the brightness settings. So that's the first one. You can't even pick that up on camera. Oh, there it is. Let me turn this light down and see if that helps. There it is. Okay. So that's two, three, four, five back to one and then to turn it off you just hold the button down for a few seconds and then off and there it is it's the ADE advanced optics tactical reflex dot sight and the model is the RD3 dash 006 B So yeah, I plan on taking this shooting very soon, and when I do, I think I'm going to try it first with no Loctite, and I'll just tighten it down just enough to where it's not going to strip the threads out, because I don't really want to push it that far, and then if it comes loose, it comes loose, I'll bring some Loctite with me. We'll just throw some blue Loctite on there, let it dry, and then see how it goes, so... Yeah, should have that video out in the next two weeks or so, so stay tuned. For how cheap it is, it's a really good looking micro dot. And actually my first, so I'm excited to take it shooting. Seems like a great little target optic and definitely a good beginner optic because it's not it's not bad or anything it's just as far as optics for handguns go it's definitely considered an entry-level optic so but I mean if it gets the job done that's all that matters to me no sense in paying 300 more dollars for a brand name yeah, so there's the little punch. Just got some nylon and turned it down on my lathe. And yeah, that's all there was to it. Just a couple of wax. You can get felt like this in like a arts and crafts store. And just put that in vice where you could even use some like rubber or some other protective material to keep the Device from scratching the frame. That's what you want to avoid. So, yeah. I will upload a video as soon as I take this new optic shooting and give you guys all the updates. Part of the reason content is getting really hard to film right now is the price of ammo. Ammo for this, my Glock 17 and 9mm, believe it or not. In Washington State where I live it is a dollar a round for nine millimeter they usually sell 50 round boxes so that's fifty dollars for a box of nine millimeter I haven't been able to find anything in lower quantities and then you got hollow points like this like these sig V crown hollow points self-defense rounds they're like you get 20 of them for like 60 bucks or something like that. It's crazy. And then ammo for my AR-223-556 is also a dollar a round. And then I am glad that I got my AK when I did. Because 762 by 39 is the only ammo that hasn't just gone up 500% since all this crap started going down. So if you want to donate to my channel help me out with the cost of ammo because it's getting expensive to make these videos especially 
in anything in 9mm, <laughs> then I'll leave my PayPal link in the description. And also, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.